Okay, hey everybody, how's it going? It's Hack, and today I'm going to be showing you a guide on how to do a farm run without the completion of the Trollheim or quest, or you know, My Arms Big Adventure. Without that, if we want to do farm runs without that, this is a route which excludes that one patch. Um, I'm also assuming you don't have Plague's, uh, Plague City complete. I think that's a quest. Uh, but also, I want to show you guys a preset to use uh, while you're farming. So, I'm actually on Legacy right now, uh, which kind of impacts this. But you want to go into gear, not hero. I messed that up. You want to go into gear, presets, and you want to create a uh, farming preset. It, it really doesn't matter what it is. Uh, but you want to save it like this. You want to make your inventory look like this. You want your seeds. You want four buckets of compost. Uh, I don't know why I have five. Um, so yeah, you can bring four or five of those. I like to refill them uh, at the last patch. So I usually bring some extra buckets as well. You want your ecto file. If you don't have an ectophile, just bring the runes. Water runes, earth runes, air runes, fire runes, and law runes. And you want to also save your equipment. You want at least the magic secateurs. If you don't have the magic secateurs, then don't bother even about the preset. But I like to even put my farmer's jacket and from legwear, which boosts my XP. And also the magic secateurs. The magic secateurs give a chance of harvesting extra herbs. So, this farmer is going to be pretty quick, but you want to start in Ardone, basically. You're going to be working your way from the left side of the map to the right. We're going to be going to Ardone, then to Catherby, uh, then to Falador, and then Canifus. Last. So, you just want to start in Ardone. How you get into Ardone, really just either teleport to Ardone or just home telly and start there. Just start in the bank there, wherever. So, the first herb patch is here somewhere it's on on the northwest side of Ardoin Ardoin whatever I don't I really don't care how it's pronounced it's Ardoin for me but you know everyone pronounces it differently let me know in the comments how would you pronounce Ardoin because it's such a weird word so I'm currently farming spirit weeds as you can see uh, I was farming Ranars but I decided I need some spirit weeds uh, because summoning potions are actually kind of cheap quite a cheap way to train Herblore what you want to do then is not misclick like me, like an idiot, and get a loading screen. You want to use your compost and the herb patch or super compost. I would recommend super compost, I just have a lot of compost that I want to get rid of. Plant a seed, get ready to teleport, teleport to Camelot. Um, honestly, teleporting to Camelot is probably faster than using the lodestone. Uh, it's up to you whether you just use the Catherby lodestone and run from there, or just use the Camelot teleport, but honestly, from you know what I've... What I've observed, uh, teleporting to Camelot is actually faster. Here's some dead herbs. This this might happen every time, you know. I'm farming spirit weeds with farming level of 40, so you know that's it's not not really high. So yeah. Then again, get ready to teleport to Faldor. I actually have a willow tree planted there for the branches because the branches are kind of nice profit, you know, along my uh, herb run. Basically, the willow tree there, it guarantees me, even if all my crops die, it guarantees that I don't lose any money. Uh, I need to... It's kind of hard for me to do this, uh, because uh, I'm playing with a uh, drawing tablet, as I said. It's actually kind of cool, playing with a drawing tablet. And what's actually what you can do, um, even with your herbs, I don't do it with my herbs until I have like a lot of inventory spaces filled with them. But what you can do is you can use your items, your farming items only, on the two leprechaun, and two leprechaun will note them for you. So, for example, for me, I just noted my willow branches, which is extremely useful when doing herb runs because sometimes our inventory will fill up. But anyway, the farm patch here is just southwest, southeast actually. Yeah, it's just southeast of uh, of Falador. Come on, move, silly item. There we go. It's just here. What is that thing? Emissary of Armadil. He looks so weird. Just saying. Just saying. So, you can go past the Elder Tree. It's right here. It's also another another cool thing right here. So, Elder Tree. So cool. Yay, my herbs didn't die. That's so cool. I love when my herbs don't die because usually I get 2 out of 4. It's probably because I'm just using normal compost. Although I, I have like 100 and something of it. I want it on the fucking Treasure Hunter or something and I just can't be arsed not using my super compost. I need to use it anyway, you know. Okay, uh, I'm actually gonna not note them. Then use your Actifile or teleport to Canifus. Uh, I'm go gonna also show you the route uh, when I'm finished with this. I'm gonna show you how to get there from Canifus. 
but the active file is really much faster and just it requires completion of uh, what was it of Ghost Soho I think uh, to get the active file but it's a really nice teleport it's right next to the farming patch but I'm also gonna show you how to get there otherwise cool three out of four that's a nice one but I'm gonna show you how to get there if you don't have it you can either use the cannabis lodestone or you can just use your curl house portal honestly in my opinion everyone should have a curl house portal because it's just such a useful thing uh, I'm gonna I thought I might get more herbs from that but anyway this was a nice farmer and it's 15 herbs so that's five from each actually which is really nice okay so you can teleport to house or use the cannabis lodestone I really love the lodestones by the way old pay, playing old school is a real pain and you want to go to your portal room in your house if you do have a house and just go to your curl portal there we go and from here where you go uh, I would suggest bringing an energy pot or something like if you have any one dose energy potions you need to use then just use them here lodestone teleports you a bit further out right here what you can do is you just go this way follow this path and you should end up really quite there it's a magpie I think I can catch magpies can't I 6500 damn it anyway this way just follow this path it'll lead you pretty much to the farming patch uh, you're gonna have to run upwards right n right about near where these graves are just a bit after them here you see this is a little coastal line and here's right your farming patch see so yeah this is the quick way to get there uh, if you don't have uh, the active file unlocked but other than that that's the end of your farm run you can just teleport to Varrock and god damn this thing. Come on, close. I hate like this menu. For some reason it's just incredibly irresponsive to my clicks. I just I have to click a specific like the center of the cross, you know. I like to run here. Um, if you have completed, I think it's Varrock. Varrock hard test. You can reroute your Varrock teleport to lead you to the GE. So yeah, that's kind of cool. But you can see the value of one of value of five seeds is roughly 5k there, a little bit less than 5k. In this farm run, I made 20k, so I just made 15k profit on average. Uh, with these willow branches, you know, it's also quite a bit of profit. But as you can see, 22k profit made. That's around 15k profit just for the herbs, and the branches add some extra profit to that. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little mini guide on how to do your farm runs. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Back out.